Yeah, I thought the first hour uh, wicket was quite slow and not much bounce, but then I think once the sun sort of baked it for yeah that first hour, it, it quickened up a bit, and um, that's probably when we saw a few nicks, I guess. Um, so there's that little bit of nip there all day, a little bit of swing. So it's yeah, there's plenty there for the quicks for sure. Um, it was a 14 wickets in a day, so it's obviously <laughs> doing doing enough, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, I guess we've probably avoided big days in the dirt or back-to-back -back days even a lot, so it's been quite well spaced out how we've bowled. Um, certainly helps having two around seamers in the in the team and even Hedy to chip in, so um, there hasn't been that big you know, day of 20, 22, 23 overs and then bowl again for half a day the day after, so we've, we've managed to get those 10 wickets reasonably quickly from time to time and it's been really well spaced out, which I no doubt has a huge impact on on quicks getting through seven test matches and that's probably the main reason we've seen us three get through all the games. <laughs> uh, no, I always thought it would come to life. I think it probably gets flatter as the game goes on here. Well, certainly last time we were here it was, was similar to that. but. Um, yeah, we saw New Zealand move it around a fair bit even this afternoon, so there potentially might be, you know, enough in it for the next few days as well. Um, there's not necessarily divots there; it's just good seam bowling or good seam movement, um, and a couple of guys sort of extracting that. So, yeah, fingers crossed it keeps uh, keeps moving around for us. But um, yeah, the games um, we're probably just ahead here. Uh, yeah, yes and no. At certain times, to certain players, I think the lengths are always different. Um, you know, to a, to a number of their players, it's definitely fuller, and to a, to a, to the other half, it's probably that still that hard, that good length, that six to eight venus that brings in most of the dismissals. Um, and they probably could say the same with us. Um, so you just got to adapt, I get, I think, to whoever you're bowling to, um, and those wickets come from different lengths. Yeah. <coughs> Um, yeah, I haven't done anything drastically different. Um, obviously, I had the side for a couple of years there in a row, but in saying that, I, out of the 52 weeks of the year, I felt like I probably missed four weeks of bowling, and they just the wrong wrong four weeks to miss. Uh, you know, I missed three or four test matches both times, and it was pretty frustrating. But, um, yeah, probably less is more with the side to a degree. Um, I've had a few chats with different people, and... Um, worked that one out. The Achilles is going really well. I mean, everyone's managing things, different things. The quicks are always got niggles here and there and doing their thing in and out of the game to try and be at their best they can be. And um, But I think, I think the main point is the one I mentioned before. Just workload, really. We came in off the back of one-day cricket, which is a really good lead-in, and then we haven't had to really bury ourselves at all um, throughout the whole summer, really. Uh, yeah, I feel like probably most of my wickets are top order wickets. So I've probably struggled to get the tail out from time to time over the years. And um, the good length's probably a nice length to slog there at the end. And we've got quicker bowlers in the team who can sort of unsettle the tail and, and end up getting the wickets. So um, I feel like most of my wickets are top six, top seven. And um, yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, I think we're, we're ahead. Um, would have liked to be sort of two or three down the end of today, but with the still amount of seam movement, I think, you know, if we can get a lead of a triple figure lead, I think that'd be unreal. Um, if it continues to play like this, if it flattens out, I think we obviously will push and push for as many as we can get. But um, yeah, if the seam movement continues, I think 100 leads a pretty good position. Um, 
I don't think I ever felt like it was sort of chronic injury or it wasn't going to end my test career or anything like that. Um, it was just a little thing about maybe going about it a different way rather than really loading up the side and putting a lot of strength into it and almost making it too big for the area that it is in between the rib and hip. Um, it was sort of less is more and keep the movement, keep the thoracic movement a lot, um, get the most range possible there. And I think the build up into the test series is really important as well. One day cricket's a lot better than T20 cricket. Um, shield game's obviously ideal, but if we just can't fit that in and squeeze that in these days. Um, so it's a number of things that all add up. Um, the workload as well throughout the test matches are a big thing. I always feel like if I get through the first game of a, a summer, um, it almost that's probably the hardest one for me, and then it's sort of smooth air sailing as we as we keep going. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's probably a number of things. I think the Aussie wickets have definitely got more in them than they used to. Um, and we've obviously had a couple over here that have, that have helped out as well. I think with the extra bowling in the team, I think you're a lot fresher coming back for your third and fourth spells and we're only bowling potentially, you know, a whole day. We might bowl 16 or 17 rather than 22, 23, you know, back in the day when we had no all-rounder. So it's just that fatigue starts to set in and it snowballs day to day, test to test. Um, we're just staying a little bit fresher. Might help having a, a bowling captain who <laughs> walks in the same shoes as you all day. Um, can, can wrap his head around that and dice up the bowling a little bit better, I think, of when to push and when to, when to hold back. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've, even when I was injured there, I was still bowling well when I was playing. Um, so yeah, it just feels like um, all those couple of things added together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought I heard one off Latham quite early on. I don't think they replayed it at all, but um, I think last ball of one of my overs early, I thought he nicked one. But um, yeah, that last one, I think Greeny and maybe Uzi heard it um, behind, the, behind the stumps and umpire nothing, myself nothing. And I think having two left for the last wicket, Paddy just hail Mary and it paid off. So first time I've been ready to go again for a five wicket haul. So um, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, he's always working super hard. Um, I don't think anyone bats in the, in the nets longer than him, maybe Smithy, but they're usually in there together um, doing their thing. So a lot of the stuff we don't even really see. We're, you know, optional training. We're resting up, getting ready for the game, and they're still in the nets batting and throw downs and facing bowlers and whatever it is, talking batting, talking cricket. So they, they love that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, he's, he's worked as hard as ever. Yeah, I think a lot of the time, the, the less you try, the better you go sometimes. And those spells just seem to flow rather than you're not fighting yourself. You're just rolling in, bowling, not thinking too much, putting the ball in the right area and the wicket's doing the rest. Um, so yeah, I think Henry's probably the same the last two games. He's sort of just not thinking much. He's running in, bowling, bowling beautiful areas and um, balls nipping around, getting nicked. So um, yeah, often your brain gets in the way when you, <laughs> you're playing sports. So yeah, try not to think. Yeah, I think any new player that cut, a new really exciting good player that comes in, I think they're going to score runs early and then bowlers teams will certainly find a way to, to try and expose their weaknesses and potentially it is, yeah, quite full outside off stump. Um, the wickets probably haven't helped. They've been quite bouncy and, and nippy and it's not, it's not one day cricket anymore or T20. So, um, but he'll obviously, I guess that what makes a great player if they can work through that and combat that and come out the other side and 
build on their average or build on whatever it is they're, they're trying to do and um, fight their way through it, I guess, and then they became the Steve Smiths and Kane Williamson's of the world. So we'll see. Thanks,